Hi, Pisces. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is Kelly from Moon Pie Tarot. This is your general love reading for the month of December 2017. This is for Pisces Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. If these... If this particular reading does not resonate, please check your other signs so you can get more clarity. Um, hold on, cards going everywhere. Uh, if you wish for a personal reading, just check the description box below. I have two ways that I am doing readings now, so go ahead and peruse that area to see. You can follow me also on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. Uh, let's see, we'll get started with your reading. What are the love energies for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus? Hello there, Kelly. Hello. My Siri goes off on her own all the time. I don't know if it's the new update or what's going on. Okay. Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising for love. December 2017. Oh, and happy holidays to everyone. I was I pre-shuffled these cards quite a bit, so death card. That's in the position of your present energy. Challenged by the two of pentacles. Page of Swords Foundation. The chariot is the past. The moon card. crowning you page of cups in the near future seven of cups your advice the empress the other person the tower and your outcome is the eight of cups the five of pentacles I actually want to pull one more Ugh, seven of swords okay now for the readings, I've been pulling the uh, Angel Oracle cards as the overall love message energy for December. So we'll see what that message is for you, Pisces. Okay, you have Forgiving and learning, as you release and heal the past, you experience more love in your present moments. I love this card. I think it's so pretty. So this card is basically saying, during this time, it's time for you to forgive someone and learn from the past. It's very straightforward. Uh, or it's the energy that will be happening during this time. In December there will be healing there will be forgiveness there will be learning okay the past will be left in the past and there'll be a, an opportunity to move forward this is the energy that's being asked of you to focus on during the month of December okay what areas do you need to forgive what things what life lessons in love have you learned what things have occurred that you need to remember so that you don't repeat those same mistakes? Where do you need to move forward? Where are you stuck? That kind of energy playing out for you. And what do you need to let go of, Pisces? There's something that's happening in your life right now as you're listening to this that you really need to let go of either past pains or hurts or however far back they go because I feel like you've been stuck in something and it's time to move forward now and this is the most beautiful time for you to start releasing those energies forgiveness is a beautiful thing it's not saying that it's okay what the other person did it's saying that even though they did it I'm okay and I can move forward and I can forgive them because they don't know better but you do and you don't have to allow that to keep you in uh, chains anymore 
I don't want to move any more with that card because I think that is quite enough about that. So your past position is the chariot card. I feel because this card is in this position where it's moving away from the reading. This is also moving away from uh, not thinking, not being in the pro in the future, but not staying in the past. You 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 Pisces, I feel like had this tendency that you not all of you, but a good majority of you were always driving forward, but looking in the rearview mirror. Okay, and I feel like you're always going back to the past or you're always rehashing things emotionally to yourself that you've always been uh, staying in that stuck energy and has a lot to do with this forgiving and learning card. And I feel like you're kind of moving away from that now during this time, like you're really not, you're not driving backward anymore. You're taking control of your life. Some of you may have been dealing with uh, someone that left you or walked away from you or just moved on or moved away. Or some of you recently moved home or moved back to a place where you were. Uh, or some of you have just been spending a lot of your energy trying to move away from the dark and out into the light. Chariot can sometimes be about travel. So there may have been a trip that was planned in the past that maybe didn't get off the ground. I'm seeing change, though. I'm seeing transformation. An end of a cycle. A new, cha new transformation is happening in your life in December. And it might be a little overwhelming for you. Okay, with the, the two of pentacles crossing you, it, it might be a challenge for you to try to absorb all and keep everything up in the air and keep moving forward, especially if you have some forgiving or healing to do. But I feel like this, the, uh, there's a new life that's beckoning you to, to come to that, to come to. You see the death card, how he's, he's holding his hand out and he's saying, come to Papa. <laughs> so I feel like you're being called. To transform into a new place, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically. And and, and you're having trouble. Uh, it's a challenge. You're not having trouble. It's a challenge for you because this is something new. This is uncharted territory. Because you may have always been used to that comfort zone and always going back to old ways. Okay, you're being asked to make huge changes during this time in your love life. And it's, it's a little overwhelming because you don't have much to go on with the moon card. There's, it's like going out in the middle of the night and trying to find your way around with very little light, you know, and, the, and, and it's, it's, especially if you're walking through these emotional waters and you don't know which way to go, but the answer to navigate through that is to start forgiving and learning from your past so that you can be free. You will feel free to walk forward because there's a lot of insecurity emotional insecurity there's illusions you know your mind is set up to live in illusion <clears throat> when the moon card is in reverse this is about having clarity so you're not quite there yet you're kind of feeling your way through during December you're not mentally changing uh, you're not using your brain to change you're feeling your way through your emotions you're going through these emotional changes and what's driving you is this page of sorts like you're trying to get at the truth you want truth now 
you may want to speak with someone or there may be someone who's trying to reach you maybe you've been kind of like in disillusionment or hiding out a little bit because the page of swords is like somebody could be watching you or somebody's trying to message you and it's harsh and it's hard for you to uh, hear what this person has to say or read what they say or see things on social media and uh, you, you you know maybe you've been in denial or you deny like you you see or you read something and then you just kind of blow it off and say oh it's not that but you know maybe there's some truths that you really need to get at and and that's what this transformation and changes and if it's someone from your past where things have changed you have to get real about that relationship and maybe forgive and move on from something and and not be in a state of denial the page of swords will not allow you to be in a state of denial even though it, it this is what the this is what the challenge is here to the challenge is to balance the the truth of what's going on of what you're seeing and what you're reading and what you're hearing from someone versus your disillusionment your fantasy mind you know this can be a card of denial so you're this is what the transformation is is all about for you to get real about something or someone or a situation in your life for you to get real about it now you have the page of cups coming up in the, the near future so something is coming your way love messages of some sort someone going to be helping you or uh, someone that before I go into that I will say the other person you have the Empress card this could be a, a, a mother figure who's going to help you with something could be your own mother could be a female uh, who's very loving and warm and is a mentor to you but this could also be just a person who will be there for you and they will be offering their love to you as you go through all of these changes give me one second my computer is dying Well, that's never happened before. So, I don't have the feature to um, just pause. If I stop the video, then it's done. Um, yeah, so I feel like someone, whomever this person is, in your life is going to be helping you to manifest this change by giving you reassurance it could be a male or female uh, by giving you reassurance and offering their love to help you go through this and and Pisces is so deep for you you've got the tower card in your hopes and fears so you know you want things to be done you want to be done you want to move on you want to move forward and you, you want it to you know happen quickly you don't you you don't want to go through all this and and quite frankly who would okay whatever it is however this relates to you whatever it is that you're going through right now you know i know you don't want to you don't want to forgive someone or you're you know you you don't you're not ready for that and that's okay you don't have to do it this month but it's time to start taking a look at that for you so you could release something that may have happened but you also fear that it will all come crashing down and 
and it will be painful and it will hurt but it's for the best right i always sometimes use this card as an analogy for birth you know when a when a woman is having a baby it's so painful and uh you know she goes through so much for that first nine months that transformation and that change uh, that her body goes through it takes such a toll on her physically and emotionally and just everything in, in just a short amount of time and then the pain of, of the birth but then when it's all said and done what do you have you know this most beautiful most precious thing you could ever imagine and so I feel like for you Pisces you're going through this serious transformation you're going through some kind of birth and that is the empress this could be you as well you know look at her if you can see it if my camera works she's so basically she's holding a baby to her breast you know she, the empress represents birth and change and new beginnings you're being called to let go of something from your past to forgive even if you're in a relationship with someone and they've hurt you in the past you're being called to forgive them even if you don't want to and I know some of you are going to leave comments and you're going to say I'm not forgiving that loser what they did well it only hurts you if you don't they are getting on with their lives someone left you or deceived you or betrayed you and you're still angry about it but they've moved on and they're happy and they're going on ferris wheels and they're enjoying their lives who's left with that pain you because you're not forgiving them forgiving as i always say you know is not and it's hard and believe me <laughs> we're all human and we go through these different phases of that but not forgiving only harms you it's the poison that you keep drinking in an attempt to hurt someone else no it only affects you all right so you're being called called to do this now it's time for you to do this now to to get that ball rolling just to, to start putting it up in the air and start you know manifesting that and, and trying to do that you're being called to perform something that is extremely difficult for you but you have a lot of love and support and even if this is someone that you're currently with you forgiving that person and letting go of past hurt and pain will bring them closer to you okay whatever if you're in a relationship with someone and there was hurt of some sort or you know whichever it was your forgiveness will bring them back or will bring them closer to you there they will offer that love to you again this could be anyone this could be a romantic partner a family member uh, some of you dealing with your mother this could be any situation a sister brother whatever it is this is on a such a much more deeper level than romance and I, oh, I can only give the message that's coming forward at this time so if some of you are listening to this and you're single and you're just wanting to know if love's coming into your life well love is coming into your life okay uh, new love with someone in particular could be but love is an energy it's not a person so if you want that new love to come into your life or you just want love in general to come into your life you have to do this you have to let go of the past learn from it so you can move forward now your outcome card to start is you have the eight of cups so this is walking away from something okay maybe it's walking away from an emotional idea that you had about a relationship or a marriage something an expectation that you had um, the eight of cups is always a temporary thing it's not permanent so maybe there was someone you're going through this change in process and maybe you have someone that's not willing to stay there with you but i feel like it's your change that you're going through 
when you begin to make these changes and manifest healing, this person may not understand that. You know, they might, you may be dealing with someone who wants to keep you in a negative state of mind, okay? And uh, you may be, you may have someone or you may have a partner who has that energy where, you know, if you're unhappy, then then if they're unhappy and they make you unhappy, then they're okay. They may have, they may be having, they may have trouble dealing with the fact that you're going to heal now because then that's a lack of control, okay? However, they're going to change their mind and they're, they're going to come back and, and actually make those changes too and support you, whatever it is that you're going through. Because the Five of Pentacles, to me, in this reading, the message I'm getting is supportive energy. Okay? And the Seven of Swords, so whatever someone tried to take from you, they're, I don't feel they're going to get away with it because they're going to... I actually feel this is more you now uh, taking what's yours, taking back what's yours. That healing, that love, that forgiveness, that learning. You're taking back your power, so to speak. I know sometimes people look at this card and they think, oh, someone's being deceptive and it's lies and it's a theft and, and blah, blah, blah. So yeah, you're you're taking back what belongs to you. What, what you allowed someone to take from you, you are you're going back into that spot again and you are you know, hey, I forgive you, you're lost, you're confused, you did this, you did that to me, and you took from me my uh, trust or whichever, now you're going to get it back. It's kind of a strange message, how that came through. Let me just pull a couple more clarifying cards to see. do I want to know I'm going to pull for this page of cups because I'm curious well the page of cups is pretty self explanatory you know it's just someone offering their love ah the ten of cups beautiful 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 so and this is basically you're having your wish come true for you okay forgiving someone for past hurts and learning from the past is actually going to bring you that wish you know what you're listening to this reading just take a quick second and ask yourself when you blow out your birthday candle what is it that you wish for okay because that's what's going to come for you that wish come true your wishes will be granted you stop running from the past or you just let go of what's keeping you stuck heavy heavy energy for December for you Pisces and I feel for you I do um, this reading is really just all about transformation and change for you and your love life um, making those changes to summarize I feel like is going to bring what it is you've been hoping for but you are being called to do something internally right and uh, really important for you to rely on the support you receive because you will get it you won't be going through anything by yourself you know if you've gone through a divorce or the loss of a spouse you know, or just issues in a present relationship that cause a lot of grief. Um, there's healing coming. And if that's what you've been wishing for, you'll be getting that. Healing for you, healing in a relationship, healing all over, especially all these blessings with the holidays coming forward. So take advantage of that. Okay. And, uh, so I'm going to end your reading there. And if you, again, wish for a reading, just go to the description box below here. And uh, I hope you have a very happy Merry Christmas. And I will speak with all of you in the new year. Okay, take care.